So before we get into the video, uh, yes, I did get banned. I'll get into it in a second, but I'm just saying this before the actual video starts because I just want to like clarify something first before like the actual video begins or whatever. I'm not making this video for whatever reasons that you guys think I might be making this. I just simply want to get unbanned and I'm just speaking my side of the story and something that I kind of want to talk about real quick that I felt like I talked about, but I really didn't go in depth because of how my emotions are right now. Basically, uh, back in May 16th or around there on May 16th, I got a generous donation from one of my friends, Mob, and he gave me Pika and Gura. Long story short, I got banned and I talked about it with Mob and he told me that his friend gave him the pk and gura and then mob passed on the pk and gura to me i haven't received any donations from mob since then turns out that mob's friend got banned for exploiting and so he pretty much passed on a poison fruit to mob and then mob donated it to me and there was no way of knowing how a fruit is poisoned or not and mob didn't know he was just trying to be generous so i just kind of want to get that out first and yeah it's like it's not mob's fault and i i feel like that i'm banned falsely for no reason for quote-unquote affiliation and i just i'm gonna i'm <laughs> i'm gonna rant on but i'm gonna stop myself because i already did it enough in the video but really it's just it's stupid because i i'm falsely banned for something that i quote unquote like or i'm quote unquote affiliated exploiters and it's just like i don't know why i would do that i don't know why i would sacrifice so much like i've literally gpo is one of the few games that i actually really genuinely enjoy I'm saying this for not de-writing or whatever, but I'm literally saying this because it, it's the truth. Literally, you can ask other people. I literally enjoy this game a lot. And for me to get banned or something that no one intended or for me to do on purpose because I'm quote unquote affiliated, it's just really dumb. And uh, yeah, I, I, I ran it on too long. Um, Here's the video. Oh man, I can't wait to play Grand Peace Online. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> so um, yeah, you guys can uh read that uh i don't really know i don't really know how to um start this video um i got banned i'll explain the story i don't know if you guys are gonna see this or not depending on how long it's been because i've already submitted my ban appeal i tried creating a ticket but i can't i don't know why yeah so uh uh, first things first all i can really say is uh, i got banned for quote unquote being associated or affiliated with an exploiter group and so i'm gonna go ahead and just open the document so you guys can read it for yourself like uh, so you guys can see my ban appeal so you can read it i guess so it's a lot easier to understand so i was pretty much banned today 6 13 2021 the day that i reacted to anime legends i found out around like 5 p.m my time like pacific standard time or whatever my reason was quote unquote affiliated with an exploiting group an exploiter group uh mob is one of my friends and pretty much he was doing custom specs to people who give gpao logias or just logias in general so if you guys recognize mob uh if you go back a little bit earlier onto my channel you can see a video called thank you mob and about like a video like the stream in between like that video and the stream um like thank you mob is pretty much just a clip showing mob donating pika anger on stream which is honestly goaded you know thank you so much mob we both got banned i just want to point that out too i got banned for quote unquote being affiliated i know i said that a lot but pretty much what had happened was he donated it to me and i have proof of me getting it you know and it was legit and it was on stream so i had proof of that um you know time goes by nothing happens and today uh on june 13th from what i've heard for you just kind of went on like a banning spree and i guess that i was in the middle of it i don't really know if i'm legitimately you know perma banned or whatnot or just banned in general i don't know why i would be i mean like you can say oh like you're affiliated i had no idea i was and i'll get into that in a second but um I i'm just really lost for words like it's like it's it's difficult honestly like being in my shoes because gpo is one of the games few games really that has helped my channel out a lot and one of the only games that i really do enjoy playing and you can say like 
a lot of, like I know there might not be a lot of people but only to the people that are all like you're probably just saying this just so you can get on band clearly I I have not played a game like this I literally love this game to death I I really care about this game I care about its success and the fact that I'm kind of like falsely banned really does hurt me a lot and for like my love for the game back to the topic so um I I, I know I'm kind of getting too sentimental but back to the topic mob donated the Pika and Gura time goes by and I get banned today so me and mob start talking and in between that time frame by the way i think it was like about a couple weeks ago mob had told me that he was going to start doing specs for double fruits and i was like hey that's actually a good idea to get double fruits because there is a rule that shows that um you can't like cross trade you can't do anything you can't black market of course that results in a ban and obviously cross trading as in like you know trading in other games just for it like i give you this in this game and then you give me that in that game or whatever you know and the thing is though is that obviously mob is a developer for a game so that's why he's saying giving me custom specs is because he's a dev for a game i didn't know that it was banned obviously it's kind of like uh, it's common sense now that i think about it that it is but honestly i didn't really think much of it and he like nothing happened for the past couple weeks and then now obviously i get banned and so like i said we started talking and i found out that one of his friends gave him the pecan girl that he donated to me so possibly we might have gotten a ban for poison fruits and if you don't know what poison fruits mean is that let's say someone exploited you know uh shit farm exploit which is like afk shit farming and you have like a little script or whatever pretty much we got exploited fruits and mob's friend uh also got banned the one that gave him the fruit so i think we either might be in the middle of a situation and somehow I was quote unquote affiliated with it, even though I had no like, I had no idea what was going on. Uh, like I said here, I put right here, this is the link. That's the stream playing arena and show that's the thumbnail right there. And then the video obviously is thank you mob for like the donation. Um, I'm not trying to like skip through it, but, uh, you guys can just read it here. You can pause it if you want to, but, uh, Right here, literally, I was associ quote unquote associated with a exploiter group, and like I said, I had no idea that I was a part of one or part of one. And really, it kind of like breaks me because why would I sacrifice so much that I've built up over time? Because I've, I've honestly, over time and recently, there's just been getting uh, an insane amount of love on all the videos, and I just want to say like thank you guys so much for that. Like really, it means a lot. But I don't know why I would sacrifice so much just so I can get a fruit over a video game or to pay for a fruit in a video game, and it really just doesn't make sense to me. I. I have a series that I take very somewhat seriously like I, I recently just tried out for Warlord and obviously you know uh, for those of you who were there you know how it goes but if you weren't I lost you know I didn't get Warlord obviously or else I would have made like a big video about it I don't really know how like I, I just don't know like it, this situation is just like kind of really messed up really just sucks because like this just sucks because like I have done so much for GPO. I've, I've literally, I, I really love this game to death. And I know that some of you guys may know that. A lot of you guys may know that, especially just from my videos too. It's like, it, it really does suck. Like, it really does hurt me for the fact that I'm kind of banned for something that I didn't. Uh, obviously i didn't do this on purpose and i didn't even want to try to do this and it really just hurts me because like i i do care a lot about this game and i am very upfront sort of with a lot of stuff like i'm just kind of i throw my opinion out there even though like sometimes i feel like you know i shouldn't throw my opinion it's like it's my opinion you know who, who's gonna care the people that are only gonna care is like the people who take things literal even though it's just an opinion you know i definitely love having debates about a lot of stuff because it brings like a lot of it, it brings a community together and you can talk about like oh this is good no this is good blah 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 blah, blah. you know and it's just like a debate back and forth and you know as long as it doesn't you know get to like oh like uh you like you're you're effing stupid blah 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 it's like obviously if it gets to a point to where it's just debating like nah this is good blah blah blah, blah. here jokes here and there it's just like i really don't 
get why, you know, like I said earlier, I don't get why I would sacrifice so much and why I would just kind of throw everything away. Obviously, EDP said the exact same thing. I'm not trying to follow in his footsteps, God. I would never follow in his footsteps. But I'm just saying, like, if a dev is watching this or anyone you know, um, if this video even goes up, because this video may not go up, uh, depending on, you know, if my band appeal gets reviewed in time or not, because, like, I really do want to be making videos, and I'm always, like, practicing, and it really does suck that I'm not able to practice and that I get banned, something that I didn't do or something try didn't try to do on purpose, and it just, it really does suck. It, it's like, it, it really does suck, that's all I can say, and I know that some of you guys can kind of hear the emotion in my voice sometimes, my voice is kind of getting cracky, because I can hear it, but like, it, it really does suck, like, I, I just, I don't know, how, like, my expression, and my, like, I, I can only say so much, you know, and I really don't want to, like, kind of go on, like, this rant, like, oh, I was falsely banned, blah, 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 and then make this whole, like, make this whole controversy, or whatever, you know, and it's, like, I'm not trying to cause drama, but, like, as someone who is growing off of, like, GPO and really does love this game to death, and for the fact that literally I, I like, this is all I upload, like, I, like I said, I just uploaded Anime Legends video today as i'm recording this and obviously it's just like my main my channel is mainly based around gpo like literally i like i come up with series i come up with video ideas obviously everyone does the same but i kind of feel like that i do somewhat go the extra mile for this because i want it to be something enjoyable for people to watch i know a lot of you guys know that i i don't know because i can't i don't know what to say and i don't like i don't know it's just I'm lost for words right now, and I'm kind of like in a very bad mood. I'm not trying to bring any negative energy towards you guys, because you guys are the best, you know, like for stopping by my videos and for even watching them. Even if you're not subscribed and, you know, you check out my videos, I really, the fact that I've gotten banned on something that I am so passionate about really does hurt. And uh, I know that it may affect some of you guys as well, because some of you guys really enjoy watching my content. It sucks not being able to put out videos, you know? And sometimes there's a lot of like personal stuff I'm not going to get into, but like really GPO is kind of like a getaway sort of. And especially even though I, it's like GPO is sometimes a love hate relationship. I just really love GPO and it's like, I can speak for some of the community. I can speak for a lot of people. I can speak for none, but everyone can agree that GPO has really revolutionized Roblox and has really like changed a lot of YouTubers. It has created a lot of YouTubers and got them up to where they are a lot of youtubers may not be where they are if it wasn't for gpo and you can say that for any game honestly but really gpo has like this variety of youtubers and like especially in the pvp realm you only see a few youtubers that really do focus on pvp the only like true other like pvp youtuber that i do see is lasuki like lasuki literally uploads pvp like non-stop that's literally what his channel is based around and i my channel is somewhat like it, it is heavily based around pvp and i'm always trying to get better and i'm aiming for warlord i'm even aiming for higher goals you know and it's just like i want to create stuff in the game possibly that could be added to the game one day like this road to warlord started out as a series in inspired by cloud 805 series which is road to zeno and if you guys aren't familiar with dragon ball fighter z zeno is one of the highest ranks in dragon ball fighter z and i started road to warlord as inspiration to that like i'm gonna reach top 10 and be on the top and i'm always practicing you know i don't play like consistently like 24 7 you know because obviously i'm not gonna try and force myself to play the game and like even though i it's like i'm not gonna try and you know like oh i gotta play gpo i gotta play today like i really enjoy making videos and i genuinely enjoy overall just playing gpo like gpo really has impacted my life in a big way that i really can't explain with words and some of you guys may know how that feeling is i can only say so much for you guys to understand me you know but like really gpo has impacted me a lot and i am very grateful for gpo and like i i do dedicate the time to this game 
I really do. But for me to really receive this punishment for something that I didn't do, or I can say purposely didn't do, like obviously let's say that it was going on and I somehow got the Pikangura and it was poison, but I didn't know and my friend didn't know. It's like we got punished for something we didn't do on purpose. You guys know what I mean? So it's just like, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling on too much. I don't want to ramble on too much. I don't want to take any of you guys' time. You know, like just thank you for stopping by. If you're even at this point in the video, I just want to say like, thank you you guys made this see this video i'm not 100 percent sure like i said because depending on when this band when my band appeal gets reviewed i possibly like may like hopefully come back to gpo soon you guys may not even see this video i'm recording this video you know hoping that like i get unbanned soon and like i'm not going to be that type of person that like oh i'm a youtuber i should get unbanned soon you know or like i'm gonna be that one person that like spams one of the mods or just someone that is related to a mod you know i'm going to at least try and be as like cooperative and respectful because these people do have jobs and they do have lives as well you also have to respect that you know as they like somewhat respect their players I, when i mean somewhat you know like Foyu doesn't listen to the community i don't know why i'm joking about like this type of situ in this type of situation but i can just like it's really the only thing that i can do to really kind of like keep myself happy because like i don't know like i'm not saying like grand Peace literally makes me happy like it grand Peace really does help out with like a lot of my happiness i guess you could say but um it's just like like i said for me to get kind of falsely banned really does hurt it's like i really didn't do anything wrong if anything i'm like trying to help the game spread the game out more you know and really kind of take this game and twist it around as if it was a legitimate game because honestly gpo does not feel like a roblox game it feels like a completely different game and i feel like that uh, is what games are becoming to be they really don't feel like roblox games and that's why i love gpo because gpo has that unique feeling not only visually but overall really just hones in on this I'm like grabbing you in and you know like you can play my game you can enjoy it or you can hate it you know but like gpo really has i have a strong I, I don't know how to explain it but like i have this strong like relationship i feel like with gpo and it, it, it sounds corny and weird i know but like i can only i i'm trying to express it to the best of my ability but um i i i, I know i said this before but um, i'm not here to try and waste you guys' time thank you guys so much for at least stopping by watching if this video does go up i'm not really gonna ask for a like and subscribe you guys can do whatever i really don't care because this video is a serious topic as i'm just trying to really get this message out for me because like i really do care a lot about this game and i do care for the future of this game as well as myself like this game this game really has impacted my life in a way that i never imagined was possible from roblox especially roblox it's like for the fact that this has done so much for my channel really does like mean a lot to me and the community the friends that i have made really is irreplaceable and i i can only I'm, I'm only gonna say like i can only say so much you know without trying to ramble on too much so i'm sorry again for wasting your guys' time you know um uh yeah uh sorry if i did kind of blabber on but like i i really didn't i don't know um i'm gonna go ahead and just end the video here uh sorry for wasting your guys' time but thank you you know if you stopped and watched you know just heard heard me out and uh yeah it's been chasing you guys i'm out